So if you want to learn how to repaint a manga character like you saw in the intro, then keep watching because I'm going to show you guys exactly that in detail. Now, first of all, why do you want to use Photoshop instead of After Effects? Now, there is a couple reasons. And the first reason is simply that Photoshop is kind of just meant for all of this. So it is just very easy to switch between the tools and it's just way faster than after effects after effects might get a little bit laggy here and there so photoshop is really good for that Now the second reason is is that you have a couple of these content aware tools which are really really good if the spot healing brush tool the healing brush tool and the patch tool which i use the most especially the patch and spot healing brush tool and those are just so nice to use like later on in the tutorial you're gonna see me use this more often that is why you want to use photoshop before we actually start i want to tell you guys that i'm going to switch between the brush tool and the spot heating tool with my keyboard as you can see over there brush tool is b and the spot heating tool is j you're gonna see me switch between these a lot hopefully you won't get confused you know it's just really fast to just switch between these with your keyword instead of clicking over here all the time those are the keybinds and then if you go to the brush tool and hold alt you can get this drop tool and you can select your color so you, you're gonna see me use that a lot as well and if you hold alt and your right mouse button and you drag this you can make the size bigger or smaller so yeah those are just kind of um some quick information that i'm gonna give hopefully it will get less confusing because i'm going to switch between those pretty fast because this tutorial is gonna take a long time kind of so yeah i usually like to put the hardness on 50 percent. so you can right click and get this put it around 50 percent. that's what i like to do so yeah now we, you can actually start watching the tutorial so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and repaint this hair piece I already masked it out over here as you can see i'm gonna try and remove this eye part in this hair piece then i'm going to completely remove this hair piece from her head and face i'm going to redraw her eye and stuff like that and this little part over here as well that's what i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and do this hair piece over here what i'm going to do is press control on this layer over here so now when i paint outside is it is not going outside whereas normally it would go outside like that so i'm going to press control and then i am just going to get this white brush and you're simply just going to paint over this very very easily and yeah so you can kind of just try and paint over the white stuff for example and then a little bit here in between and just and then you can get like a little bit of the gray you can kind of repaint this maybe a little bit of this darker part and over here you can get white again and you kind of just redraw everything like that so that's kind of just the basics and i'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it and you can just keep watching like how i kind of do it because it's actually pretty easy but for example on this part it's going to be pretty hard because you have to redraw a lot so that's going to be a little bit harder but for a hair piece like this it's going to be pretty easy to be honest i'm just going to do like some white over here and then get a little bit of gray and then i'm gonna draw this line again like so and if you zoom out it looks completely fine and sometimes like i just did you can zoom out and see okay does this look good or not and then you can zoom in again and just start repainting all of this basically So I'm going kind of fast through all this, but it is just kind of easy. And now I basically redrawn the hair piece and now I can go enable the bottom layer. Some parts are really easy because this is all white. You can just go ahead and paint like this because this is just simply all white. And yeah, you can kind of just do it like this. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Make sure like you obviously keep this uh, brow over here. And then here you can kind of paint in between like so. And then you can get this brush over here. And like I said with alt you can just get the color you want so this is basically how i redraw the manga stuff i have this is all basically with the brush tool now i kind of just want to show you guys where you can use the content aware tools for this is a perfect example actually I'm going to make this white real quick then i kind of just want to repeat this hair pattern over here but if i were to draw that uh, with the brush tool it's going to take a lot uh, to make it very detailed so for example you can press j you can kind of just do this and see what happens currently for this one is not doing much so i'm going to try and use the patch tool so i'm going to do like a mask like this what you can do is drag this over here as you can see it clones it so you can kind of keep redoing that 
That's actually kind of fine, because if you zoom out, see, it doesn't even look that weird. And if you zoom in, it might look a little bit weird. So you can kind of fix that with a brush tool again like this. And now you can also use this tool. So see, these lines don't really line up. So you can try and use this to make it a little bit lined up better. And yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not really explaining that much, but it's mostly just knowing the tools. So the spot healing brush tool and the patch tool and just your regular brush tool. And then you can just basically repaint all of this. So over here, I'm going to repaint this black part real quick this looks fine and then you can for example kind of just draw that it's literally just one line and it already looks like it is like the rest you can for example do a little bit of these gray pieces like that like you have over here you kind of just have to look like how the actual drawing is drawn and just kind of do it yourself And this is one of those parts where it's really nice to use the spot healing tool again. So you can just make your brush a little bit bigger and boom, do it like that. It's like, as you can see, very, very easy. And it is almost unnoticeable that you just did that. And then we're here on her neck part. So I'm going to get my brush go to like black just draw a line kind of just a good line actually like so it needs a little bit of fixing looks fine then i'm gonna get my brush just paint oh whoops white again i think i'm just going to get a white brush first and then i'm just going to part this white and then later i'm going to use the the spot healing tool again kind of fix that first i'm going to do this and yeah her neck should be kind of going over here maybe does that seem right yeah it does so then i'm going to use the spot healing brush tool again I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and just do something like that or maybe i'm going to use the patch tool for this make it like a small mask and just like so would that work looks a little strange going to do it again looks a little better already and then over here to get my brush tool uh, again and i'm going to draw an edge like that and then i'm going to the spot healing brush tool again and kind of just remove all this you can see once again looks a little strange and if you zoom out you don't notice it that much but i'm still going to kind of fix that with the patch tool again so that's a great combination you can try and use for yourself like it's it's just so so helpful and you can save so much time when you do this instead of using it in ae because look i've just completely redrawn everything that cover this hair piece right so that is just so good and that is kind of it and this already took me like 60 minutes though but um and you can do like the same process for these hair pieces you can mask out each of these pieces individually and then just you know completely draw white behind it because this is just her forehead so you can just make it all white which is very easy and then when you come to her eye it is a little bit more detailed and you can use uh what i just did over here as an example so now how can you actually implement this into after effects because you really don't have to go to save and save every single piece as a png image because you can have a lot of them i only have two right now but normally you can have a lot of them because you do all the masking in here and all the repainting in there as well then you go to ae and you basically want to drag your photoshop project file into here where you normally drag your footage in and you'll get this i like to put it to composition and retain layers and do the merge layer styles into footage then you can press ok and here you have it so you want to double click on this and now you have your composition so i have two of the layers over here which i really really like about this is that let's say for no reason i would make her uh, her hair piece black like this i will save my uh, photoshop project file with Control and s or go over here just click on save and then when i go back to after effects you can see that it is updated in lifetime basically so if i would just press Control z then save it again go back and it's now gone so that's really really nice something that does not work i believe if you add more layers like this then press save yeah then there will still be only two layers so that is the only thing that is kind of annoying but it is actually really nice that yeah you can basically do everything in here and let's say you're animating and you notice oh i've messed a little bit of the repainting up you can quickly fix that press save go back here and it will be saved in lifetime so if this video helps you out Please leave a like and let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time and check out my other tutorials as well. So have a good day.